Hey peeps, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do June readings for all zodiac signs. Like I always say, that these are general readings. Take what applies, if it applies, and you know what to do with the rest. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info is in the box below. You can also go to my website at strengthandwisdom1.webs.com and check out my merchandise, pricing, and services, all that good stuff. Uh, also, every Wednesday I go live. Come join me and a great bunch of peeps to do a look in at all Zodiac signs, a little chit chat here and there, and to do the random reading live. So, Eastern Standard Time, 7 o'clock. Be there. Okay, enough said. This reading's going to be for Sagittarius. Let's see what's popping with you in June 2020. Hmm. Ooh. Interesting. Oh. Huh. Hmm. Sag, you might want to slow down a little bit and look before you leap, so to speak. Don't jump the gun on anything. Hmm. So let's see what this is all about. Bottom of the deck. Sag, you have the four of pentacles here. And this could be known as a miser card. But it's also known as someone here not speaking their mind. Not voicing their opinion. Keeping something to themselves. And remember, this could be the energy, you know, you're putting out there, the energy that is coming at you. Friendship, partnership, loveship, family, however it applies. But far be it from you, Sag, to not speak your mind. So this is interesting. Let's get it. We're going to start off with the Knight of Wands. This comes from your court, as well as Leo, and as well as Aries. Sometimes known as a good time Charlie card. They come in and out. But more so, they're just a messenger. They're a messenger to take a course of action, to get the ball rolling, put something in motion. And what's crossing to help or hinder is the Seven of Pentacles. Now, here is the investment card. You know, this person is wondering, when do I reap the rewards of all my hard work and labor? But it's also about putting all your time, your energy, your love into something. And when you step back, Sag, you have to ask yourself, is this worth doing? Am I getting out of it what I put into it? And again, I get that feeling of, you know, not jumping the gun, taking a real good look at something here. And not being swayed. Because in your foundation... Sag, you get the devil. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. But the devil is obsessions, addictions, illusions, feeling bound and tied to a situation or a person that you don't think is ever going to change or end. You know, it could be codependency. I mean, gambling, chocolate, sex, you name it. But it's the feeling of... Maybe a no-win situation, sad. Or maybe, you know, you get an angel on one shoulder and the devil on the other. And that's where the weighing something up comes in. Because crowning you here, Sag, is that you get the Taurus card of the Hierophant. And this is, you know, having faith, having hope, higher institutes of learning. It's about having a moral standard, Sag, that we don't bend or lower for anyone or anything. It's about doing things the right way. You know, textbook style, traditional, conventional. You know, staying on, you know, the straight now, so to speak. Now, there's always temptation around the corner. 
I think the the idea here is to put something in action, maybe to resist temptation. Here, Sag. No matter what it is and whatever ship it falls into, to stay on that conventional, traditional way of doing things. Now, in your recent past, you have the Ten of Cups. Now, here's riding unicorns. Emotional fulfillment at its finest. Happy house, happy spouse. Doesn't get any better. But being in the recent past, Sag, I think that maybe that's what you want to take action to. I mean, and who wouldn't? You know, everybody wants to hit that, you know, that place where everything's great. Rainbows, butterflies, unicorns. And it's where you invest your action, dear Sag. Now, it's not for everyone to know. Everybody's hopes and dreams are different. Their goals are different. But going into your future, you have the eight of wands. And this is reciprocated communication going back and forth. Whether you're emailing, texting, Skyping, face-to-face, -face, doesn't matter. Now, this could be correspondence that you are in a good place, in a happy place, that you're doing things by the books here. Sag. Look before you leap. And be careful about who you communicate with. And how this situation is seeing you here. They're seeing you as on the D. You get the five of wands. Now this is petty arguments, gossip, secrets, lies. Can even be a little bit of jealousy here, Sag. No one sees eye to eye. Nobody's on the same page here. And to stand your ground, you know, you have to communicate and not stay silent. But the situation's looking at you like this, like you are defensive. Maybe somebody's finding it hard, you know, to talk to you if you're on defense. And again, Sanj, step back. Assess the situation from a grounded point of view. Is something worth doing? Engaging in pettiness is never an answer. Or feeding into jealousy. You know, arguing when it's just fruitless. Waste of time. Because in your environment here, Sanj, you have the star card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. But this is a healing energy. This is to let you know that the universe hears you. Your guides are with you. This could be a blessing in disguise. A wish being granted. You know, it's things going on behind the scenes. Divine intervention. And I'm hearing clarity. You know, to see beyond the illusion, because the devil's the best illusionist out of all of them, Sag. He can make you believe something that's totally not true. In your hopes and fears, you have another major arcana. You have the high priestess. Now here is the keeper of secrets. She's arc like the moon because she's guided by her intuition. She totally trusts it. And never underestimate the high priestess. She knows a lot more than what she says. Will she tell you her secrets? Maybe. And at times, right? Maybe not at all. Kind of goes back to this card. You know, there's a time and a place for everything, Sag, to maybe stay silent because it's nobody's biz. Or speak up. Especially if you're defending yourself, you know, in your position. Especially if you're defending your happiness. Sag, your outcome card is the Four of Swords. Now, this is taking a pause, a breath, a step back, reprioritizing, re-strategizing, making a plan, and making a backup plan. And again, where you put your energy, what do you put into action, what do you invest in? 
whatever ship that is, friendship, partnership, love ship, family, however. I think whatever situation you find yourself in here, Sag, you know, stay in the straight and narrow. Do things legit. Don't feed in to something that wants to keep you bound and tied. Or keep you in a no-win situation. Taking a step back from something, Sag, and getting a broader picture, seeing the forest through the trees, so to speak. Once you see a better picture of what's really going on, once you see past the illusion, then you'll know where to put your time, your energy, your love, and what to put into action. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. Don't forget about Wednesdays to join me and my great bunch of peeps at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So till then, take care.